In this video, we will look at how to easily create an organization chart or org chart in Microsoft Excel. And you can see here at the left, I have a list of names of people that work in an organization, and I would like to organize them into a hierarchy, an org chart. On sheet two, you'll notice that I have a sample USDA organization chart. And let's say that I work for the USDA and I've been asked to follow this pattern and create an org chart for the organization. By the way, you have access to this practice file if you look in the description below the video. So how would I go about creating this org chart in Microsoft Excel? Well, one of the best ways to create an org chart in Excel is by clicking here on Insert and using the Smart Art option. If I click on Smart Art, you'll see that a huge number of Smart Art shapes are available. There are processes, there are cycles that you can use, and these Smart Art objects are easily customizable and changeable, and they're useful in many different ways. You can see that there are matrices that you can add. There are pyramids, different types of pictures, graphic organizers, just a wealth of smart art shapes and visuals that you can use. I'm gonna go down to hierarchy and you can see that each one of these hierarchies could be used as an org chart. You could put the CEO here at the top, the vice president here, or however you want to organize the org chart for your organization. So select the org chart that matches what you want the best. I'm going to simply select the default org chart. You can see there's some details here about it. And then just click OK. And I have an org chart that's added right on top of my Excel spreadsheet. And it really is on top of it. You can see that I can click and drag to move the org chart and it just floats on top of the spreadsheet cells. If I want the org chart to be bigger, I could click and drag at the corners to resize the org chart. It's probably premature to do that though, as you'll see in just a minute. Okay, so now let's begin adding people to this org chart. If I switch back to sheet two, I can see that the secretary goes here at the top. So I'll switch back to sheet one. Let's say that Charles Love belongs there. I could click here on text and type in Charles Love. Notice that the text resizes in order to match the space that's provided. You can also click and drag to change the space itself. So going back, if I had started by resizing the space that I have in that box, notice that the text would have been handled a little differently. I actually like how Excel handles this, and so I could just click here to type in the text and it will adjust to exactly the width and size that it needs to be. But I want to show you that sometimes it's better to type in the names or other text here at the left using this panel. Instead of clicking and typing in the box itself, simply click over here and type the names. If I wanted to, I could also type in titles, so Deputy Secretary Charles Love, but for brevity, I'm just going to leave the names themselves. At this point, I could just click here to add the next person in the org chart. But if you recall, here on sheet two, the way this org chart is set up is different than the hierarchy I was given in Excel. How can I duplicate this? How can I match it? So that these other people are considered almost siblings, not children, but siblings of the deputy secretary. Well, back on sheet one, the way I could do that is by right clicking on the Charles Love box, and then I could go here where it says add shape, and I could simply choose to add the shape after the Charles Love shape. So if I click that, it adds a shape to the right of Charles Love. Now, this is an unusual situation. Normally, the links are automatically provided when you add a new shape, but in this case, for a very good reason, it didn't do that, and so I may need to go in and insert a line that shows that relationship. Now I can click on the box or simply go here and click on the panel, and I could type in Tyler Frazier. Now, one nice advantage to having the text right here in the same spreadsheet or on another sheet is that you can click and copy with Control C, and then click either on the box or here on the panel, and then paste in the text. So that is an advantage. In some cases, it might be a little faster to do it that way. And at this point, I just want to start working on this part of the org chart. 
Going back to sheet one, you'll notice that I probably don't need this particular box. I can just click on it to select it and then tap delete on the keyboard and it's now been removed. And so I could just continue to click on and copy the various names and then paste them here. Now let's try copy pasting more than one name at a time. How will that go? If I click and paste it here, notice that it put both names in automatically. Now, what if I decide that I need to add a new sibling to Ignatio Fowler or a new child to Charles Love? Well, I could select Ignatio Fowler, right click and choose add shape, add shape before. Let's say I want the new person to be listed here. Watch what happens when I add the shape before. Now I have a new shape and it's before Ignatio Fowler. So that's gonna be Dana Strickland and I'll just paste her name right in there. So from here, I can just continue to add more and more names and more organization to this org chart. Let's say that Juana Mills is a team leader. I could right click on Juana Mills and I could add another shape. This is going to be a shape below and I want to list out her team, each team member with their own box. Now, because I just created this new box, to add another box, all I have to do is click back on Juana Mills and tap the F4 button, and that will add another child, let's say, to Juana Mills. So I could pretty quickly add a whole team underneath Juana Mills, and I could copy paste their names right here into the panel and delete any unneeded shapes. Just like with most objects that you add in Excel, the SmartArt org charts that you make can be clicked on and when they're selected, you get additional tabs here at the top. So there is a SmartArt tab and it has some pretty exciting options here. You could have kind of a 3D effect to your org chart. You could have it be kind of beveled. You could choose some of these other styles or options that you can look through. You can even change the color. So I could adjust it to a varied color, or I could go to all orange. There's lots of different options here for the colors of your org chart. If you want to, you can click reset graphic to reset it back to the way it was. You can also change the type of hierarchy of your org chart. If you remember back at the very beginning when I added the smart art, I chose the basic hierarchy, but if you want to, you can switch it to something else. You can even just put your mouse on top of these other layouts to get a preview of what it would look like. And if you think it's better than the original, go ahead and switch it. I'm gonna stick with this original layout. I also have a format tab here at the top. I can change how the text displays. I don't particularly like that look, but if I wanted to, I could switch to that. I can also change the shape fill, so the background of my org chart. I can even use gradients by going down here. I can use textures. So you can make these org charts pretty fancy if you would like to. I'm going to undo a few times just to take us back to the way it was. I like this look pretty well. Now you may have noticed that my solution for Tyler Frazier and connecting him to Charles Love using this line is kind of annoying. Every time the chart adjusts, this line seems to be out of place. So let's look for another better option for connecting Tyler Frazier to this org chart. One option would be to simply add another shape, but instead of choosing add shape after, I can choose add assistant. And then I can click and drag that assistant to the place I want the assistant to be. So I'm going to delete Tyler Frazier and I'll pull the assistant up here and off to the side and I'll copy paste Tyler Frazier here as an assistant to Charles Love. So even though you can certainly add your own shapes and lines and things to the org chart, it's often better to simply use the built-in hierarchy tools here as you add shapes. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.